hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is a new test. Two stainless steel screws and you can see the black is to the negative side of the battery. So what we're looking at here is a tube. A brief phone call and I'm back. As you can see what I've got here is a tube with two stainless steel screws in here and I've got electrolyte here and a solution of lye and what we're going to do is I'm going to put the power through here now And I'm going to submerge this. Okay. And why am I doing this, you ask, right? I don't know. I test everything, that's why, to find out, get answers. So here's a good view. Now let's see what happens. I got 12 volts on this. Or I thought I did. Let me hook it up here. Now I've got 12 volts. The screw on the right is negative. The screw on the left is positive, obviously. Now let's take it out again. Okay, and put it back in again. Screw on the right is negative. And probably you can see that's where we have the get a better view here come on there we go now try it again okay and you can see obviously which one is putting off the hydrogen What I'm going to do is screw them closer together. Right again. Okay, I'm going to screw them close. I think what I'm going to do is put this deeper in here and let's see what happens here. You can definitely see where the hydrogen is coming off of, right? I'm going to put it closer together now. Okay, there's a good view of it. Pull this out for a second. Okay, got 12 volts there. See how close together that is. Still not close enough for me. Let's try it some more. Okay, this is really close. See if I can get a good view of that. Can't even see it. There's water in between the two. But believe me, they're not touching. Okay, let's try it now. And you can see, got a 12 volt battery on that. I don't know what this proves, but it's just another test. I think you can slowly see there's a gap there now, huh? I'm going to move it a little bit closer than that. It's really close, believe me. Let's see what happens now. Well, not much. 
I'm going to pull this out and we'll hook an amp meter up to it and see what's going on. Okay. No amps going through the battery and it is definitely hooked up and you can see how close that is. Now what I'm going to do is put this in the water. Hopefully it doesn't turn the screw in to make a short, but we'll find out. Okay. Putting it in now. I'd say that's pretty interesting. 0 0.07 and you can see let's see if I can tilt this over here. Well if you always wondered what would happen if you put two pieces together that close That is what happens. And now if we swing this over to our, you can see that's our amps, 0 0.05. See if it goes up any. Okay, and uh, just a moment. Hey, uh, just so we can check the difference between that and putting a real cell in there, that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to put this cell in the water, same exactly, and we'll take a look and see what's going on. Okay. It would be nice if I hooked it up. Just a minute. Okay, now it's going in. Smart me, I'm holding on to this thing at the same time. Two amps. It's going in the water further. Ouch. Okay, that was good. Okay, we've got this, and this is what we get out of the same order that we've just been experimenting with. We're up to 619. This is cell gets more conditioned. The voltage should go down a little bit. Interesting thing, this conditioning as we all are using that term. All of us is using it in a different way. Once the cell starts working in the water, cell gets coated and you get a different kind of hydrogen bubble coming up. These are amperage that you're looking at. And you can see how the cell is interacting by the different changing. which in itself is kind of interesting. So as each cell interacts, the bubbles start changing, that's what you're getting. This is the uh, American spirit that I'm fooling with here. You can go to hydrogentap.com and see the pictures of that if you like. It's in the same 
water as we were just experimenting with. 